Solve the following equations. Write each answer as an integer, proper fraction, or mixed number in simplest form. Looking at the first equation, we have the quantity x minus 6 divided by 8 equals 11. The first step here will be to clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator of 8. This gives us the quantity x minus 6 divided by 8 and then times 8 equals 11 times 8. And now looking at the left side of the equation, if it's helpful we can write 8 as a fraction with the denominator of 1. Notice before multiplying we can see we have a common factor of 8 between the numerator and denominator. There's 1, 8, and 8 here as well as here. Or we can think 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Notice now the left side is just the quantity x minus 6, which is why we multiplied both sides of the equation by 8. On the right side we have 11 times 8, which is 88. And now we have a basic one-step equation to solve for x. We need to undo the subtraction by adding 6 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative 6 plus 6 is 0, which is why we added 6 to both sides. We now have x equals 88 plus 6, which is 94. The solution is x equals 94. For the second equation, we have the quantity 8x plus 5 divided by 7 equals 9. So again, the first step here will be to clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator of 7. This gives us the quantity 8x plus 5 divided by 7 times 7, or if we want times 7 over 1, equals on the right side 9 times 7. And now back to the left side, we can see we have a common factor of 7 between the numerator and denominator. There's 1, 7, and 7 here as well as here. Or again, we can think 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. So now on the left side, we just have the quantity 8x plus 5 times 1, which is 8x plus 5. On the right side, we have 9 times 7, which is 63. Now we have a two-step equation. The next step is to isolate 8x by undoing the addition, which means the next step is to subtract 5 on both sides. Simplifying, 5 minus 5 is 0, giving us 8x on the left, on the right, 63 minus 5 is 58. From here, since 8x means 8 times x, to solve for x we undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by 8. Simplifying, 8 divided by 8 simplifies to 1, 1 times x is x. We have x equals 58 eighths, which can be simplified though. The greatest common factor between 58 and 8 is 2, to simplify the improper fraction, we divide the numerator and denominator by 2. 58 divided by 2 is 29, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we do have a simplified improper fraction here, but we're asked to express the answer as an integer, proper fraction, or mixed number. And since we have an improper fraction, because of the directions, we'll have to convert this to a mixed number. To convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, we divide the numerator by the denominator. So we have 29 divided by 4. There are 7 4s in 29. 7 times 4 is 28. We subtract, and the remainder is 1, which means we can express the quotient as 7 and 1 over 4. Notice how we form this fraction by placing the remainder over the divisor. So our solution is also x equals 7 and 1 fourth. I hope you found this helpful.